What's going on everybody? Rob here, Jack of All Trades, Master of None, also known as TREV2323.com. About to put my winter coat on here because I have to go in the, the closet of the nursery in our house. I'll show you how our house is designed in a later picture, but this is being facetious, but I am going to grab a thermometer or a temperature that I have set in the closet right here. This is the closet that I use. And if you see right here, well, I'll bring you closer. Let me get the thermometer first. Right now, let me see if you can see it. Right now, the indoor temperature is the 41. That's the temperature that this is right here. It is 41 degrees in that closet. 56 degrees on the wire. The wire is underneath the, uh, the crib. Okay, let me make sure it's standing up right before I get you to see you. Okay, so I put this in here to, so I can see how cold it was in the in the closet. Alright, this right here is the 41 degrees which was in the closet. This right here is a remote that I had underneath the crib for the nursery. And uh, they say it's 57 degrees underneath the nursery. Hey, what I wanted to show you guys is uh, we put the other remnant down there. And below that remnant right there is another insulated uh, foam. Not insulated foam. That's the ins the roll of insulation. Not the... It's... You, you know, like the sunscreen stuff that you can have for your car. <laughs> but like that, but you could buy it for your house. But all that. But I did put the thing underneath there. And in here also, there's a remnant in there on the bottom. And look at the temperature. Like the temperature now. 68 degrees under the bed on the floor and 62 degrees in there hell of a difference from the 41 and 44 so even when you're in the room you feel the difference and the uh even when you're in the room you feel the difference so i'm gonna re-edit the video and put this with the number one video before i upload it so you don't have to watch through all four if you don't want to make these changes all right bye but here's one good thing about that thing is it has a uh, humidity level on it also so it says the humidity and in that closet is 57% of humidity and look what 57% of humidity causes yes that is mold because there's 57 cents of humidity in there normally I'm surprised because I use a quality product that we scrub that down with with a red scrubby some hot water and some bleach and it comes off and then I put this mold and mildew blocker and it doesn't come back for at least six years. I have just did that this summer and that came back. But there could be a lot of different things causing why it's more humidity in there. So right now I'm going to cover that with panel board, all right? Things that I bought for my panel board, is I am going to use, can't even tell what the thing, my trusty Marine Corps knife my son got me because this is sharper than sharp. Measuring board, I bought some tape to tape it together and some form board holder. What I am going to do with this is I am going to do it with a styrofoam board. Just clean that and put the styrofoam board over this right here. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my damn hand casting. Put the styrofoam board over this. Now these are nine and a half foot ceilings and I got my Astro van. So I drove home since it was uh, six degrees yesterday with the four by eight sheets. I'm going to do four by eight solid sheets at the top. And then down, I'm going to add a foot of it. But this nursery, check it out. Me and my wife painted this whole nursery. Pretty cool, huh? So let's take care of that mold that's in the nursery and get this up to temperature. Now this is the board that I bought to use. There's half inch and there's one inch. And it's foil faced. Armax board. Now the half inch you can see right here only has a 3.2 value and I was going to put this on the ceiling and the one inch has an R6 value. So that's a uh, higher that actually the one inch with the foil face is a, a higher than a regular style uh, uh, styrofoam one by double because a regular styrofoam one inch one is only R3 with the foil face it's a R6 and the foil face was $3 more. So I should have bought one extra $3 more. So the boards were uh, $13 each for the one inch and $10 each for the half inch. Let me show you why the floor in the nursery is so cold due to another uh, project I did before. 
All right, now I'm using my left hand uh, because I got the cast on this, not supposed to be doing anything. But right in this area, see all the uh, all the insulation board. This was my indoor tilapia farm and indoor greenhouse. The plastic actually rolled down and sealed this little area in and I had a heater inside the tilapia water for the tilapia and uh, they kept the water right around uh, with with the insulation board and everything it kept the water right around 70 degrees. One thing I like about insulation board is right here you can see there's a little cut in it right here. If you fill this there's actually no cold at all and you fill this and it is extremely cold. No cold, extremely cold. So this right here is shot up into the ceiling and what it's doing is it's covering the joist. So instead of warm air sitting between the joist, the only thing in between the joist is the cold air from the perimeter of the house. So what I'm gonna do is, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this down and then I'll get back with you. Okay, I started pulling the screws down and I realized that I had it taped up there all the way around. So before I went any further, I pulled all the tape up and I wanted to show you right here when you put your hand back in here, it is ice cold, man. You feel the draft right, right here, all right? So what that did with the upstairs is it had the whole back area right there colder now it's open right here but the cold was just sitting back over there so the floor was a little bit colder and this is actually the pantry also now up in here now up in here it's warm air that sits up in here and the colder you get which you put your hand up there the colder you get to the outside bricks it's colder so what i'm going to do is put two by fours cut two by fours nail them on the inside or glue them on the inside and then insulate the corner of L. Insulate the L all the way across. All right, so I got everything out the closet. You hear it echo. This right here is the outside wall. Let me make sure it's on. Okay. This is the outside wall. This is the outside wall. This is the inside wall. This is the back wall to my house, and this is the back corner to the house. It gets no sunlight at all. The sunlight is on the a south side of the house this is the north side of the house so this is actually a lot colder than normally i'm gonna scrub this down with one part bleach and two parts water now why isn't there no mold and mildew on the inside because this door stays closed so the rest of the room is heated this stays cold like i said it was 41 degrees with 73 percent humidity so that is high humidity because the cold there's no insulation on these walls at all no insulation so the cold is just sitting on the bricks of the house and causing the moisture in here. So I'm gonna scrub this down with one part bleach to uh, two parts water. And also I'm gonna take all these off right here so I can put the boards up. Now there's a trim right here and a trim at the bottom. I'm, I'm not gonna take the trim off. I'm gonna leave the trim on here and put the board up to here. Then put the board below here and then do the same thing at the bottom one right there. I'm not going to take these off. These are nails in there. That's all opening a whole new can of worms. The board is just going on the inside right here for right now. This is just a temporary fix. My main thing this summer is tearing out the whole plaster wall in the front room and insulating that whole wall and then putting a whole new wall here. This is just a temporary fix, but you're going to see the difference it makes on the thermometer. If you see I changed now. I took off my good shoes and my good jeans, so you see my pigeon legs and my black socks I had on. Now this one thing I want to show you, when I say two-thirds water and uh, well, uh, uh, one-third bleach, two-thirds water, you don't have to fill it all, you don't need a bucket all the way for a little section or even a big section, you don't need a bucket filled all the way. This is just the bottom of the bucket and what I'm using is a, a green scrubby. And after I use the screen scrubbing with this bleach, all I'm going to do is uh, throw it away. You get it from the dollar store, okay? But you don't want it wet dripping. Watch your floor. And then, and you see it cuts right through there. And then I'll leave it set here for maybe about 10 minutes so the bleach could kill everything. I know you're probably thinking, oh, you should be having a mask on. You should be having this on you. You know what? Everything I've been through in life this little uh mold right here i'll probably infect this little mold right here my wife will tell you the exact same thing so i'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this and then i'll be right with you put something on the floor i just put a towel you can put your plastic down 
Uh, this is the inside of the closet, so I just put a towel down. Alright, there you have it. You leave it on 10 minutes, even though it looks like you didn't get everything off, you leave it a little bit wet, and within 10 minutes, it'll dry up, and you'll see the mold just fading away. So it's like almost all done. There was some on the top I scrubbed. Now what I'm gonna stop or start by doing is measuring the top and getting the square of the, the shape of the top because I am insulating the ceiling also because your roof goes down into the peak corner and this is the back corner of that peak. This house is built in 1910 and there is no insulation up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the half inch board on top. So I'm gonna measure, start by measure, measuring the, the length on both sides how far apart is it and marking it on the 4x8 sheet then measuring the width on both sides and then marking it on the 4x8 sheet and then from there I'm gonna with a, a yardstick measure the square that should fit right up there and I'm gonna use uh, foam board insulation to put it up there I'm not doing the whole thing all crazy because eventually I'm gonna take it down and do it the right way this is to get through probably three winters because I'm gonna start the spring in the summer to insulate all around the perimeter of the house believe it or not wall by wall i'm going to cut out the old plaster one insulate it with fiberglass insulation and re-drywall with 5 8 inch drywall just the perimeter and connect it to the uh 1910 plaster walls i've done it before when i knocked out a front bedroom you can't even tell the seam the difference or anything so let me get measuring this right now